Hello my lovelies, I promised you a video on shading with blue, so here it is. It kind of happened by a happy accident while I was working on this piece. Um, it's uh, quite a lovely large um, 6x9. Um, I was playing around with a lot of blue pen, um, blue pencil, and I just started shading. And all of a sudden it took on a, a whole new life. So it actually started from me learning the technique during Charlotte Hicks's Mooka Blues class. So here's the Mooka Blues um, that I did during her class. Um, it's, it's quite lovely in and of itself. Um, although I'm not completely happy with it because it doesn't look like hers, but then again, my work's not ever gonna look like somebody else's work and I need to come to that, grips with that realization. <clears throat> so I continued on with it, playing with it on different colors different shades, like this one's on uh, a grayish blue um, Artigain toned paper. Um, did a little bit more of the shading here. Um, it's quite lovely, used a blue and black pencil on this, or blue and black pen on this one, as I did on the previous one. And then I tried it again on white paper with some more mucha-esque shapes and some perk, and a little bit of fescue mu mucas, mucas. Um, so that's kind of that was kind of fun. That was when I finished up that I think I actually started this one during the Mooka Blues class as well um, But never finished it until recently. So that got me started last year. I taught um, I taught it as a class and kind of have perfected the method now to where it comes out really really like this um, It has a really glow to it. Um, this one's on Kona paper um, which is a really nice um, coffee bag recycled paper. It's a, a really lovely paper with some tooth to work on, so that was fun. Uh, again, all blue pen with this. Um, the only tools I used for this were Blue Micron. Um, I'm now using the Micron PN for a lot of this work um, because I can get a thick and thin line out of the same pen and it takes a little less time with shading. Plus, I use a bigger pen when I tangle on bigger paper. So that kind of helps out a lot. I also have my two trusty pencils. Um, both are um, General's Chalk Pastels, um, the number um, 4414 White and 4403 Indigo Blue. Um, none of the other blue shades actually work as well as this Indigo does for this effect. Um, I'll have these put together as kits that you can come on the website and buy the kit to do this entire shading. And of course, I know you can't probably see because of the camera, um, but there is also a little bit of white pen, um, and it's a tw my trusted white jelly roll, and a little bit of sparkle pen. And for this, I always carry in every, in every kit that I put together for myself included, I try and put in a uh, Stardust jelly roll pen. It's controlled glitter and I really love it. Um, also have a couple of tortillions, um, one for each color. I have one for white and one for the blue. I also keep a piece of sandpaper nearby because as I'm going through the blending process for this, I don't want um, my blue uh, mixing too much on my white tortillions, so I use it to clean it off. Um, these tortillions have probably seen better days. I should change them out, but psh, I'm, I'm not cheap. I'm frugal, so there, there you have it. So I started out um, on this large opus piece during my summertime blues class. As you can see, I got quite a bit of really good blue going here using just the same thing. Oh, there's a little bit of spirograph there. Um, this spirographed piece here, um, I used the shading method to uh, really give it some motion and depth. It really looks cool. And then uh, uh, Holly Atwater's Hawk Crawl here that I kind of messed up but went with it. So you can always turn something that you didn't intend into something you intended by continuing to do it, repeat it. So I gave the, the um, border on that a little bit of texture, especially on this one, on my um, abukas that I did here. Um, I took it a step further and did really a lot of depth and white. So I've already got this um, little onomato with um, abukas. Um, drawn out here and I'm going to turn this so that my hands not dragging across I do step every time I finish a step on a bigger piece like this I do spray fixative on it mostly because I don't want to lose it um, as far as what I'm doing on it I don't want it to 
um, everything to drag across. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to color these pearls in the center. I've already done this. Um, uh, the two, I'm using a blue black and a black pen on, or I'm sorry, a blue black and a blue pen on this one. So the dark color that you see on the paper isn't actually black, it's blue black, which is quite striking. Um, so I'm going to take my, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my pencil, my blue indigo pencil, and I'm going to color about half of it of each of these pearls. I'm only going to do one or two for the video here so I can kind of show you how this works. I'm going to go around the outside a little bit on one side of it. Keep in mind I'm putting down quite a thick little base here. And then I'm going to take my um, tortillion and I'm going to I, I blend out each step as I go because that makes it a lot more dramatic and it also cuts down on the dust. On this, on opus tiles and tan tiles and on black tiles, you're gonna get a whole lot more dust. There's a lot more rag content in this paper. So you'll get a much dustier, I blow it off every now and then. You do have a brush, um, I forget to use it. It's on the, it's hanging on the wall behind me. <laughs> Good place for it, I'm sure. So now I've got those two little bits there with um, some blue in them. I'm also trying a new camera setup today, so uh, you guys are the first. So now I'm going to color in all this rest of this area here in the side and into the blue in this white. This is what is going to give me a really pearly look. And I've gotten pretty heavy with it. Now I'm going to take my white tortillion. It was here a minute ago. There it is. <laughs> Yay me. And again, I'm going to use the side, use the side of my tortillion and see how it's kind of blending in the blue there. I'm getting a lot of, a lot of dust again. Um, could be too because I just cleaned and like repopped out this tortillion and it's all weird shaped. It looks like Looks like it's a narwhal nose. I was reading an article on narwhals earlier today. I did. The cool part about this is I do talk to myself a lot while I'm tangling, so doing a video was kind of like a no-brainer because I do talk to myself when I'm alone. That's good, right? So now I'm going to go back in with my white, and I'm going to really shore up that center piece with the white. I'm going to put a whole lot more white in the center. This is a, a laborious process to do this, to get it really nice. And I'm going to, I'm not going to clean my tortillion yet, my white one, but I'm going to flip it over to the side where the blue isn't. And I'm going to get even more in there. So I've got, now I've got that really nice glowy part. So now I'm going to come back in with my blue pencil. all the way around the edge this time, including where I've already been, but now into the white edge. Now I'm gonna blend that even further. Think of it as kind of, it's, a, it's really close to doing the gems. So if you've ever, if you've done Zen gems, you got a, you got a little bit of that going on. And because I'm layering a lot of color here, again, back with the white. Oh, and I did forget one thing at the beginning of it here. One of the tools I do use uh, on this process that makes a whole lot of difference is I burnish at the end with my um, Zen stone. Let me grab that real quick, it's in my other bag. While you're here, um, I hope that you'll take a look at some of my other work. I really appreciate your, your business. Um, I'm a one-man show here, not a big deal, but I am, a, I am a veteran. I'll push that. So here's what I'm taking my Zen Stone, and now I'm going to burnish this. I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to burnish over the whole thing using the side of my Zen Stone. 
and it gives it an extra layer of white. Um, if you don't have a Zen stone, Zentangle has discontinued them, but um, you can still get them. A few of us still have some in stock. Um, so there's that nice glowy, it's not this, it's not as blue because I wanted these to be a little bit whiter, but if I wanted these to be more blue, I could come back in on the two sides like this. Ooh, dropping things. And, and really emphasize the blue. Now I can come back in with my white pencil or with my white jelly roll pen and give it Give it some white scape along just along the border where the blue and the white meet there. Light handed. And to really give it some pop here and come back in right along that same line with those with the white jelly roll. It can also come in the darker on the edge and give it a little bit of pop there. So there you have a little bit of uh, shading technique, making it glow. Thanks for call. Thanks for dropping in. This is Sharkat at Sharkat's Creative Insanity saying thank you.